I worry about the Washington Post. It was, rightly, considered one of America's great newspapers. Now, I think it's descending into farce. Look at this. Trump briefly glanced at the sky without protective glasses. Oh, the horror. He ignored the good advice that has bombarded us constantly. He glanced at the sun during the eclipse. To the Post, that's apparently shocking and worthy of a public rebuke. On the editorial page of the Washington Post, Eugene Robinson says, it's time to talk about Trump's mental health. Really? Why don't you just call him crazy and be done with it? Mm. Wait, there's more. Also, in today's edition, there is a breathless denunciation of the Treasury Secretary's wife and her reports of the fashion brands she wore while flying with her husband on a government plane. The couple paid for the flight out of their own pockets, but the Post reporter still finds the story bizarre. I think it's the Post that is bizarre. This is not the reportage of a great newspaper. Apparently, it is the reportage of a newspaper now owned by a leading Trump critic, Jeff Bezos. He is the founder of Amazon. He's worth close to $90 billion. What we're looking at here is a journalistic disaster. The Washington Post leads the media jihad against President Trump. If readers and advertisers peel away, Bezos doesn't care. He's wealthy beyond measure. But when the media descends into shallow, almost childish criticism, we all lose. The fall legislative season approaches. We need a media that dissects tax cuts, infrastructure, health care and growth. We don't need silly little pieces about glancing at the sun or the clothes of a Treasury Secretary's wife. And we certainly don't need dangerous and unfounded speculation about the sanity of our president.